Welcome back to another one, guys. We're supposed to get started on our hatchet build today, but <laughs> my workbench got taken over. We'll get started here in a second. Get you an idea of what we're doing here. I went to the dollar store the other day. No, this is not what we got. This is the end result. I bought a hatchet for five bucks. This is a Duramax Pro, so it must be a diesel. Five dollars. The only reason I bought it wasn't for the plastic handle. I like the shape of the head, but I think we could do it one better. You can't see it, but what I've done is I've taken my pencil. I've got a line on here. We're just going to take a little bit of meat off right here. Just kind of give it a little bit of an arc. Now, the easiest way to get these off is just melt them. I just heated this up with a torch, and this here just pull right out. But one thing I will comment on here is the black that's on here, which I thought was paint. I don't exactly know what that is, but it didn't bubble blister or anything with the torch being on it. It's pretty uh, durable stuff. So other than that, we're going to wallow this out a little bit, and we're going to put a custom handle on it. Nothing like starting a project in the middle of the night, eh? Yeah. All right. Okay, originally I wanted to go in an arc right right here but I'm kind of liking this here what I might do is just take this little bit out right here like right down the bottom right here and just kind of make it straight across and that comes down and over I'm kind of liking that a little bit which we'll keep going with that and see what happens well as with everything else I do plans always change we've gone back to the arch again mainly because I dug the uh, flapper wheel in a little too far by the way i'm using an 80 grit flapper disc but you see we got a nice arc going on there no different shape to the head now there's technical names for all this you know there's a bit there's shoulders there's cheeks there's an eye there's don't care right it is what it is you guys down in the comments gonna leave me that's not a shoulder that's a cheek that's not a cheek that's a bit don't matter i'm not cutting down trees and cutting down logs to build a log house with this thing so we're just going to get this to the shape we want to get it to. Get a handle put on it. But it's getting a little late. Got to help Ella finish her pumpkin. We'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome back. It is, well, cold and rainy outside. And I sound terrible. I know I'm supposed to be on the Great American Road Trip right now. Heading south through the United States. But because I got sick last week, we weren't able to go. Nobody wanted to ride in the truck with me. So we're going to end up, but we are just postponed it a week. So next week we're going to be leaving our hometown. We're going to be heading down to Nashville, Tennessee for a night. And then we're going to head on to New Orleans for a night. And then we're going to head over to Houston, Texas for a night. Then we're going to turn right around and head back home. Should be a good time. Back on the axe build here. So last night what I got finished was I got the arch in the head done. Remember, it was just straight out. Just thought I'd give it a little more character on the bottom end. Right, we got that on both sides. Pretty much even. You have to do a little bit more right on the face here just to keep it flat. Other than that, it didn't turn out too bad at all. A $5 axe. $5. And it was a diesel. Can't beat it. I did find an old... Well, I don't know how old it is. I found a... Uh, handle in my pile of wood here so what we're going to do is i think we're going to it's too thick so what we're going to do is we're going to knock this down we're going to get this here to fit properly yeah that there we're going to get that there to fit properly and we're going to see if we can make this thing work Alright, oh, good. 
straighten up here. So you see we got it a little bit narrower here and a little bit thicker up here. I'm going to keep the base just as thick as it is and smooth it out a little bit more. But I want it a little bit narrower in here. Now we're going to work on the top. We're going to get it narrowed down as well. <laughs> See how the head's gonna fit. Well, that's not too bad at all. Let's see if we can knock that down a little tighter. It's on there. All right, now we got to get ourselves a wedge, get it, get it glued in there, and this thing will be permanent. It's on there pretty good now, but see along the edge here, how oh, it's a little thick. It's okay. We're gonna take this down just a little bit more. The uh, slate malfunction with the Gorilla Glue here had to uh, pry the lid off it and use a screwdriver to get the glue out. Hey, you just sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And make me worried? No. It does tell me I need some more glue though. Alright. We got the wedge all glued up. Let's get it in the end here. Never gonna see that again. Because when I trimmed the top of the handle off, it took a lot of the split for the wedge out. So that's not going to be going in very far. I'm going to let that dry up and come back and cut it off. While you were all out, here you are. While you were all out having a snack, I got some work done. I got the wedge cut down. I got the black sanded off of here. Oh, it looks like it pretty much wore that out now. And. I got the handle taken down to where I want it. Now we gotta do is our final sand. Kinda like that design. So we're gonna start off with 400 grit. We're gonna sand the handle down. We're gonna sand the head down. Uh, why 400? Honest answer, that's what I pulled out of the drawer when I reached in. No other reason. That's what I got, that's what I'm using. All right, I should have known better. 400 wasn't enough for the handle. I've gone down to 120. It's fine for the head, but not the handle. Let's get back at it. on the handle all the way up to 500 I did back it down to 120 yes because it might have been a little too uh, ambitious on my part taking the 400 was going to get to it but we got it up to 500 very smooth nice and smooth now we're going to put a motor oil finish on this but first I'd like to burn the handle just a little bit now not only does the burning of the wood bring a little bit of character out in the otherwise characterless wood um, it also does it serves as a protection for it as well so Try to do this so we can all see it together. You right there? Yeah. You want to hold it in one spot or it'll just burn that one spot. You get the idea. I'm going to finish this and I'll get back to you. Well, here's what we've ended up with. Nice little char on the end there. Uh, you can polish the head. I plan on using this hatchet, so polishing the head is not going to make a whole lot of difference. But, but you know, we do got to put a finish on the handle to keep it protected. None other than 
Zero W20 synthetic. Nothing but the best. Keep in mind, this is used motor oil out of my Silverado. Even smells like my Silverado. Tell me that doesn't look nice. Come on now. Come on. Can't use more oil to oil a handle on an axe. <laughs> you most certainly can. All you professionals out there are rolling around saying, oh my God, what's he doing? But is it a dumb idea if it works? I mean, come on now. I get that. I get it all. No, it's not dripping with oil. Okay, so we have lots of oil on there now. Now we're gonna take our clean paper towel Wipe it all down. There you have it. It's protected. And it's not sticky. Well, there you have it. That is a $5 hatchet from our dollar store. And by the way, our dollar store, uh, it's called Dollarama. From my American friends. It's called Dollar General, but here it's Dollarama. Five bucks. Not bad. So I guess the only thing left to do is put a little more sanding on here, kind of knock this down just a little bit, and put a nice edge on it, and it's ready to go. Five dollars. Duramax. Again, it's a diesel. We went from this to this with very little work. I think this looks a whole lot better than that one does anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed that that was a fun little project so fun that i actually uh bought two more of these maybe put a little different design on the head change the handle to wood and you're off to the races so i'm about to get myself some dinner and i would appreciate it if you all would hit that subscribe button and like button while you're here and i'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and don't forget get off the couch get outside and enjoy the outdoors later